It's important when you're dealing with a criminal charge like this to look at the facts and the facts only. One fact, Pete Olson is under investigation by a criminal prosecutor in Virginia. Fact two, throughout the past several weeks and months, Pete Olson has provided no less than six different alibis to explain his whereabouts, some of which contradict one another. So we know one thing for sure, and that's that Pete Olson's lying. When you start looking at the facts, the truth starts to unravel and present itself. Pete Olson's campaign has lost the support of the NRCC. They've been outraised by Nick Lampson with cash on hand, almost three to one, and he's under investigation. It's obvious that they're panicked and they're grasping at straws, uh, but it also provides tremendous insight into Pete Olson's character, and that's what voters need to question, is whether or not we can elect someone again uh, who has a record of lying, dishonesty, and ethical questions.